Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Bulldog Show. I am sporting my Northern Kentucky University t-shirt, which I'm a proud graduate of its Chase Law School. As always, we're sponsored by Dieter's Law. Please spread the word. Let's get right to it. 68% of Americans felt safer under Donald Trump than they do right now. 68%, which means there's a lot of Democrats that feel safer too under Donald Trump. What about those 32%? Those 32% feel safer under Joe Biden? Really? Stacey Abrams is ignoring the science. She mocked fetal heart monitoring. She mocked it like it was made up. Man, if that doesn't end her campaign for governor of Georgia, I don't know what it does. I mean, you got people like her and Fetterman in Pennsylvania have no business running for governor, U.S. Senate, to disgrace. Mitch McConnell's poll numbers, only 7% view him as favorable. It was funny. Mark Hansel of Bulldog Reports, our editor, quipped. He says, I don't believe it. It can't be that high. And yet, I am the only Kentucky gubernatorial candidate who is saying Mitch McConnell's got to go. Now, granted, maybe his number in Kentucky isn't as bad as 7%, but it's not good. When I say Mitch McConnell's got to go, I got applause at Lincoln Day dinners. Think about that, folks. I'm the only candidate for Republican governor who's saying Mitch McConnell's got to go. Crazy. Corrine Jean Pierre, Pierre, the wonderful uh, press secretary, just continues to fall all over the place. I mean, she's a disgrace to this country. Get somebody else. $45 billion is believed to be the fraud and unemployment benefits during the pandemic. Once again, government, does, it's just money, 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 money. They don't care. It's a disgrace the way we've let government be ran in this country. I will make you hurt <laughs> was a tattoo on Darth Vader Fetterman's arm. Really? You can't make it up and shame on Ted Cruz who joined the Democrats. They created, they, they used, actually used the word cartel, a media cartel to compete with social media as it relates to news coverage. What? They actually used the phrase media cartel. DeSantis is fighting back for Florida. He's uh, signing executive orders to push back against China, Iran, Cuba. Anybody that's, you know, trying to infiltrate this country, good for DeSantis. I'll do the same thing. Woke military. The Air Force Academy says they're encouraging their cadets not to use the word mom or dad, but caregiver, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In the United States of America, folks, Unbelievable. Heating oil is up 17% this winter. Think of how that, that terrible that is for families on a budget. Sad. Zuckerberg's under some legal attack for his affecting the 2020 election. You know, I did a little uh, post this morning about Obama said he wanted to transform America. And they have. They've been working on it. And it is to benefit the globalists, the communists, and the oligarchs. Trump and Facebook, if Trump runs for uh, president in 2024, his ban will be over. We'll see if Facebook lets him back on. Newsom signed 40 bills relating to climate. Russia turmoil. It just keeps getting worse. There's riots in the streets. Like, like people are going to voluntarily go fight a war they don't want to fight. It's not going to work. Mortgage rates are the highest since 2007. And last but not least, Trump was on Hannity too, uh, did a second uh, interview, and it was great. Trump said that the Taliban leader, he sent him a, a video footage of his house. <laughs> and he said, why did you send me a video footage of my house? And Trump said, well, you'll have to figure that out. I love it. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. I hope today is yours.